Hey, what's up? It's Megan L. Hoy. And look, we're down to the final day of week three. So we're wrapping up week three. We have one more week to go in this challenge. So let's go ahead and stretch out our body, take care so we can come through for the final week nice and strong and crush this challenge. Okay, so today, full body, 60 minute deep stretch. We're going to get down here on the mat in just a few seconds. We're going to start off with some belly breath just to get into the zone and get ready to relax through our muscles. So make your way down onto your mat. Good. Lay flat and place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. And we're going to just do some ujjayi breath. So in through the nose and exhale. Let that breath go against the back of your throat, up and through your nose and let me hear it. Inhale. Do your diaphragm. Exhale. Good. It's on pace. Let your spine just settle into your mat. Excellent. From there, we're going to take our um, left leg and we're going to bring it in for a left leg hug. So, you can go behind your knee or on top. And we're just going to pull the left knee in. Not too hard. We're still warming up through the hips here. Feet are flex. If you want to rotate that foot, that always feels good for me here. Taking care of that ankle. Other direction. Still pulling that knee in. Letting that back melt into your mat. Breathing it out. Good. All right, go ahead and release. We do the same thing on the other side. So we're gonna grab that right leg and hug it in. Bring it up. Clasp those fingers together, pull it in. Good. Yeah, rotate through that ankle. Nice, good circles here as you pull that knee in. Let's go ahead and switch directions. Oh, there's that pop. Good. Continue to pull it in here. Good. Stop. We're going to pull in more. And release from there. We're going to take both knees and pull them in. Now, you can pull from behind like so or with your hands on top or hug all the way deep in. Let's start with just our hands on our knees and pull it in here. If you're all the way warmed up, you can hug those knees in together, elbow to elbow, and pull it down. <sighs> Take good care of our body here, all right? Ooh, feeling this in the glutes right now. <sighs> Just breathe it out. Nice, calm, and relaxed. Good, come out of that nice and slowly. And we're gonna go ahead and go for a hooked lying stretch, okay? So we're gonna hook our left knee over our right, and we're gonna twist going over towards our right, which is left. Oh uh, yeah, that feels better going towards our left, sorry guys. Looking over. And breathing it out. Great, so by hooking those legs, it's adding just a little bit of extra weight. Uh, so gravity can do, do what it needs to do as we pull over into this nice side twist here. Looking over towards our right. Bring it up slowly. Great, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So hook that right leg over on towards the left. And we're going to let our hips fall over towards our right. So bring it over and down. Find that compression, you should feel it's all up in here, all right? Looking over. Breathing it out. Let your spine fall down towards your mat.
peel it up nice and slowly. From here, we're going to go into cat cow. If you want to shake out your wrists really quick, that's perfectly fine. It's actually very helpful. Back to all fours, hands on your shoulders, knees on your hips. Let's inhale up. Exhale down. Ah, head down, butt down. Inhale up. And down. Now, the direction I'm calling is for your head. Your spine is coming down as your head goes up. Your head is coming down as your spine comes up and your abs are tight. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good. Slow stretch. So, really get in there and take care of your body. Now, bring your feet together. Your knees are wide. We're going to come back into child's pose. Reach those hands forward. Sink back into that stretch. If you want to twist, you can twist here. Going left and right. Good stretch for that body. Excellent. From here, we're going to go into a side stretch towards the left. So we're going to take our left hand towards our left. Right hand follows. Hips are going back and towards the right. And oh, yeah, nice and tight today. So you're going to feel this in um, not only your obliques, your shoulders, your spine, but also you should feel this in your quads, I mean, your um, gluteus medius on your left side while stretching on your right. Sink into it if you want to kind of move and adjust until you feel that tension and hold. That's highly recommended. Great. Bring both hands to the center temporarily. You're going to need to switch the camera and then we go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now bring your right hand towards the right, left hand follows, same thing other side here, just leaning back and towards your left side, pushing back on his hips, getting through the right gluteus medius, fingers are digging into the floor and pushing you back, armpit is falling down, slowly, it's not about rushing. It's about listening to your body and guiding yourself through this practice. Bring those hands back to the center. We're going to come forward for a reverse shoulder stretch. So, your left arm is up, your right palm is down. We're going to inhale up with that right leg, bring it over. Good. And have our shoulder coming down to the mat. You can have your knee straight up, or if you're more flexible in your chest and shoulders, you can bring both your toes up and your legs straight. Gradually pushing off the mat really gently with our right hand. Looking towards your right. Good, release, come up out of that. Same thing, other side, right arm is out, left palm is down. Inhale up with that left leg, bring it over towards your right, extend that leg out, if you can, all right, so have that knee up. Listen to your body, it's helpful to close your eyes and can just feel your way through this stretch.
could come out of that nice and slowly. And we're gonna work our way into a sphinx hold. So take your hands, place them right in front of you. Look forward and just let your spine settle forward. Just working up to Cobra. So we wanna make sure that we're just nice and um, ready for that when it comes. Go ahead and look over towards your left. Stretching through your neck here. Look forward. Look over towards your right. Over that shoulder, stretch, stretch, stretch. Forward. And breathe. Great, release down. We're gonna come into a tricep stretch. So when you come into prayer hands, both our knees are gonna dig down like we're in all fours. Grab those hands together, bring them up, and lean back. Good, you should feel this in your triceps here. Through your shoulders, through your spine, push that butt up, tighten that core. For all those push-ups we've been doing. Stretch it out. We want to make sure we're good and ready to go through the final week of this challenge. We've been kicking butt. And it's all come down to this. Come on. Keep on fighting. And release. Up out of there. Great. From here, we're going to Cobra Pose. So, we did Sphinx in order to build our way up to this. Hands on your shoulders. We come on higher than Sphinx this time. Ah. Looking like the Little Mermaid on that rock. Good. Hips are coming down and going forward. We're going to go into upper dog. Take those knees off the ground. But that's more intermediate advanced. Good. Hold it there. Tighten those butt cheeks if you need to. Push those hips forward and down. Good, I can hold that for months. Good, come up out of there. From here, we're going to foot pedal. So find your way into a downward dog. Pedal those feet. Take care of those ankles. Left and right. One knee is bent. The other one <coughs> is straight. So we're going to those hamstrings on a straight leg. Taking care of those feet. Pushing those hips up. Good, core is tight. Fingertips are spread. Neck is long and switch. Switch it out. Hmm, feel a little slippery today. And switch. Good. From here, we're going to go into pigeon pose. So I'm actually going to transition here into my pigeon, bringing my knee towards my elbow. Chest is up. You can hold it here. Find it. Bring those elbows down. Or bring your forehead down. If the heel comes in a little bit, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to be 90 degrees here, but work on it. You do a little wiggle and find that tension. My feet are really slippery today, so. I might have to just start coming in here with ashy feet. Because the cocoa butter is just not the best thing. Or maybe I get some yoga socks. I don't know. First world problems. All right, bring it up. From here, we're going to slide that left knee towards that right foot. Connect them in between. We're going to take our right hand, place it on top of our left knee. Left hand behind, hooking behind that heel. Looking over our shoulder. In a nice spinal twist here. And release. Other side, left hand on that right knee, right hand behind, looking over that right shoulder. There you go. You're going to feel this in your hips. Keep that chest up. Semi stretch through that um, chest here. Stretch through your wrist as well. 
and down. We're going to do the same thing on our left side. So make your way into pigeon on the left. Knee the elbow. Down. Find um, the best way to sit into this for you, whether it's with your chest upright, down to your elbows, or four heads down like you're playing a game of seven up in your classroom. <sighs> and just breathe. Discover. Good. Open up through those hips here. Great recovery as we go into the final week of this challenge. And we are being challenged, people, and we're seeing great results. Good. Bring it up. Bring your knee. Um, your right knee to your, meet with your left arch. And we're going to take our hand... Our left hand on top of our right knee, right hand hooks behind that heel, look over your right shoulder. Oh, that feels good in my spine. Release. Now right hand to left knee, left hand behind, look over that shoulder. Feel it all up in here. Come out of that, and now we're going to go deeper with a walking hamstring stretch, right? So if you don't make it all the way to your hamstring, that's fine. We're still going to stretch through our back here. Grab onto the side of your toes. Bring your chest towards your knees, and we're going to walk those hands out little by little with the time. Hold. Walk out a little bit more. Hold. You see where we're going with this, right? Good. And out a little bit more, holding it. Good. Pull. On those feet, bring your chest closer to your knees. Walk it out some more. And out. Breathe it out. You got 10 seconds. Can we go all the way? Bring it out, out. This is where I'm at with it. And up nice and slowly. We're going to go for a rack shoulder stretch as a counter stretch for that. So now that we're in the sitting position, you bring your hands behind you, your chest is up, and just twist left and right. Great way to stress through your shoulders, the eye of your elbow, biceps, wrist, neck, and relax through your spine. Breathing it out and just twisting. Good. Excellent for the shoulders and your joints. From here, we're going to go for a seated side stretch. So, find your way to your seat. We're going to bring our left hand over towards our left. We're going to take our right hand up and just stretch over towards your left side, extending that left hand on the bottom out more and reaching up. If you ever want to come out of this, breathe out and come back in. And stretch it out. Almost there, inhale. Exhale out and breathe. See this side stretch towards your right. Just taking care of that body. Great. Right hands to your side. Inhale up. Exhale over. You're just stretching into it. Nice hold here. Breathe out and fall in deeper.
Great. We're going to go into a lying hamstring stretch. If you have a yoga strap, it's an excellent time to use that. <clears throat> so, lay on your back, grab behind your foot, and pull it up. Flex those feet. And just pull it in. Good. Just try to keep your leg as straight as possible. Use your, your those hands to assist you as you pull it in. Let your spine fall towards your mat. Come out of that nice and slowly. Great. Now we're gonna go for an iso supine twist. So we're gonna bring ourselves back down towards our mat. Coming down, great. We're gonna take our left knee up, grab with the right hand, left hand is out, and just rotate, pulling it over towards our right side. Ooh. Now, your knee is probably not gonna be connecting with the floor here, okay? That's perfectly fine. Just let it hover. So get a glorious stretch through our spine and hips. Both hands down, inhale up, and bring it down. Now we're going for a lying ham stretch on the right. I'm going to show you an option with uh, a yoga strap. <clears throat> so we're going to be laying down on the floor. If you have a strap, you just stand that leg out. Similar thing, just pulling, having your back into the floor, but just gives you more leverage. Keeping that leg straight and pulling it in. <sighs> Breathe through it. Bend that knee, come down. All right, from here we're going for an iso supine twist on the right side. So. Arms out, bend that knee, come over towards your right. The left hand on top of that right knee, look over towards your right. Left leg is straight. Just settling into this stretch. Good. Bring that knee up. Make your way onto your back. We can go for a lying glute stretch on the left. So, heads down, reach that arm forward on the right. Reach back, grab onto that left knee, I mean left foot. And pull on that knee here. Stretch through those quads. Pull it in and breathe. Release nice and slowly. Lying quad stretch on the other side. Bend that leg. Reach back. Pull it in. Kind of lift that knee off the ground a little bit so you can really fire through those quads here. Relax. And release. 
Excellent. Shake it out. Now we're going to go for a supine twist. Both hands are out. Inhale up. Knees are coming to the side, over towards your left. Place your left hand on top of your right knee, stacked on top of your left. Look over towards your right. And just relax. Letting your ribs lower down towards your mat and just melt into it, looking over towards your side. Both arms out, inhale up. Same thing, other side. Begin exhaling over. Hands on top of your knee. Right hand on top of your left knee, stacked on top of your right. Look over towards the left. And breathe. Inhale, both legs up. <sighs> Loosen up. We're going to open our legs, reach through the inside of those knees, grab the outside of that foot, or those feet, rather. Pull your knees in, down, and if you can, if you have to bounce forward, we're going to rock left and right. Happy baby. You know what comes up next. Shavasana, all right, so let's take care of our spine, warm it up before I let our spine settle into that mat. Pull it in, rock it out. Great. Feet are coming down. We're going to make our way into Shavasana. So our body's going to go on to... Uh, into a vacation, which I'm all here for. You can have your arms out by the side, down, palms up or down. I like them up. And we're just gonna quickly relax. We're gonna lay here for about five minutes, or exactly five minutes. Feet fall to the side. No tension in the eyebrows, relax in your forehead, unhinge your jaw, make sure your jaw is loose, your teeth aren't clenched. Relax through your face, let your shoulders fall down. Palms are up, elbows are digging into your mat. Knees and feet are falling to the side. Lower back is melting and just start breathing in through your nose. And ah. Uh, inhale. Just release everything in your body. Let it all melt towards your mat. Go at your own pace with your breath and go. It's okay if you fall asleep, by the way.
If you're not asleep, make your way up to this, get this fist bump at the screen and boom, way to go, people. Three weeks in the bag. We have one more to go. That's seven days to finish this challenge, and we've made it through 21. I'm so proud of you all for pushing through. This body that we just taken care of this is exactly what we needed for our body. Let's make sure that we're still being somewhat active on this active recovery day. Taking a nice walk, maybe walking on a treadmill, nothing high impact or high intensity. Um, eating some healthy food, drinking plenty of water, and rewarding our body as we go into this final week. We're going to bring everything we have. Thank you all so much for working out with me. Until we come back tomorrow and start our final week in this challenge, it's your boy Miguel Hoy. Take care and peace out.